Hello, how are you doing? Good afternoon. I started the stream a little early because the race about to start, so... Hope you don't mind. Have you had a good week? Hope you're all healthy. <laughs> oh my god, this track. I'm probably going to bin it. I've not had enough practice. This is going to go really badly. Hang on, why are the overlays all screwed? Hang on a sec. Left side, clear left. I need to pull in. Looks like the eye racing overlay is a bit wonky. Watch your speed. The pit lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have had nowhere near enough practice for this. I've done about 10 laps. I'm probably going to wreck out. There we go. Happy anniversary, Nutter. So weird how it doesn't initialize properly. Um, anyway, Firefighter, thank you for 63. Mr. Mipman, thank you for 37. Tank Tank, 17. Gastus, 47. Uh, Gamma with 36. Three year anniversary. Thank you, guys. Oh boy, not looking forward to this mess. <laughs> I shouldn't have entered this. This is a really bad idea. It's not one of my favorite All tracks. And in a radical, right, it's well, very, got, very so easy to, to spin it out. Right. Very easy to spin it out. Let's see what happens. And it's put me in a 2.5 case. You see what I mean? Back end just going straight away. I very much doubt I'll finish this race. We'll see what happens. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 27 Celsius. 27 Celsius. Let's see if we can get some heat in these tyres. Road Atlanta. It's not... I used to like it, and then I realized just how... There are so many places where it can really bite you that I just... I'm not massively keen on it anymore. We'll see. Particularly that... Going under that bridge is a nightmare. Let's see if we can get a lap in. I should have done a lot more practice. This track is very slippy. It's, it's a little bit bumpy in all the worst places. <clears throat> when you go over that ridge under the bridge, it's very easy to lose it though. This here. Okay, well, we've got a lap in anyway. That lap was at one eighteen point six. Oh, 
Oh, I messed it up. Oh well. That doesn't count. I'll be near the back. Thank you, 31 months, Caporal. Mr. Sun, thank you, 14. Mr. Yoshi, almost four years. 115.6. That's fast. I can do 116s, but not 115s. Right, let's get some practice in. It's going to be a nightmare when the uh, when the fuel starts to get low as well. And this thing will get really bouncy. I keep going into that bend too fast. Um, I don't plan to type N. If I can stay alive in this race, I can probably pick up some decent points, given the strength of the field. And 17.9. I just realized as well I didn't actually change the fuel. <laughs> I just, I didn't change the fuel. I didn't uh, set it for qualifier. So I've just done my uh, qualification on race fuel like a boss. <laughs> SF Mooney, welcome back. Nitro, thank you for two months. I'm well, LH. Hope you're well. Miss Kelly Stewart, thank you for 46. It has me down as car number 19. That's pretty much bottom of the split. I need to focus on keeping the car on the track and staying out of trouble. Although... I doubt I'll do both. Yeah, but he probably did it on qualification view as well. Mr. Broker, happy four years. Session P15. Right, that's my practice. <laughs> uh, Punkathet, happy Twitch baby nine months. Oh god, look at that. You start on a bend. That's awful. Well, most of the crashes will probably happen in the chicane. Not not on T1. They'll happen at the chicane at the top. There'll be a few there. And then the next bend down, the dog leg left, there'll be some more there. <laughs> and if I make it around the first lap, I'm, I'm in with a chance at some point.
That guy in front of me, Oscar Dominguez Trevino. You can actually blow up the the engine on the radical if you change down too quickly. I hate standing still on these things. The track temp is 27 Celsius. 20 laps. Okay, Paul, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Floor it. Green, green, green. There goes one. This is where most of the carnage will happen. Left side. Clear left. There goes one. Good start, mate. Need to get these tyres warmed up. I had pizza this afternoon. I actually had Domino's. <laughs> Domino's still deliver pizza. He gone wide then. The actor Sheridan ahead is increasing. It's now one point zero. I thought I'd gone in too deep then. The gap to Trevino behind is now 1.1. How did he went then? Oh, come on. Sector 1 is 1.2, off the pace. Sector 2 is a second off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.6, off the pace. Car left. Still there. Clear left. On your left, clear left. I made him fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got into the rhythm yet at all. Okay, Paul, the next car is Trevino. The leader has just done a 115.5.
a bit slow through there at the moment currently. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Car right. Still there. Clear right. I think that guy just got net coded because. I got a 0x on that, and that's really weird. Like, on my screen, I wasn't touching that guy, but he just... Either he lost it, or I net coded him, but I didn't contact him. You think he lost it? Maybe. Okay, Paul, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 0.8. The guy behind is car number three. <laughs> so yeah, I expect he will catch me. He obviously lost it early in the first lap, I think. Lost it then. A pink car's behind 17. me. Car right. Right side's clear. That guy's got fin damage. Car left. Clear left. That was tricky. That was interesting. <laughs> How's everyone go up in the lockdown? It's fine. Asking again in about two weeks when everybody's really starting to feel the pinch. <laughs>
It's just tense, yeah. <laughs> I know somebody in his house got it. I presume it was his dad, P22. But I've not heard anything else. It's funny, I'm quicker in some sections than this guy, and he's quicker in others. <laughs> the gap ahead is now 0.7. Alright. So it's, it's, it was his daddy who, um, who got it then. Mr. Max, dude. Thank you very much for gifting us subs, though. Appreciate that. Hope you're well, mate. Sorry, I'm a little bit focused at the moment. <laughs> uh, Cole Trekkle, welcome to the house. Mr. Compat, thank you for 20. I hope so. We've got plenty of fuel. Keep digging. Good luck. That's your quickest today. It's so easy to do. Oh, you idiot. That's just lost me a few places. Yikes. Let's get the rhythm back. Sadly, it is all too easy to do that on this track. That particular point is... If you get the power on just at slightly the wrong time, it will take you out. Well, I'm in a high strength of field, so I don't mind. Oh, I was having such a good race with that guy as well. <laughs> it was actually fun. <laughs> Push now. We need more speed. 
We need more speed, he says. Okay. Let me just open my suitcase of speed and get some more out. Anybody got a solid rocket booster handy? There'll be a few more cars go out before this is done. annoyed me was like when I tr when I did spin I got back on the track and then spun it again that's that's really annoying still I didn't damage the car so there was that Just a high powered go kart, these things. Oh, God. I'll tell you what happened then. I broke, I didn't break enough, and I carried too much speed into the corner, and then when I went to turn in, the back end just went, nope. The race is over, not really. There's always experience to be gained. I think everybody in this race has a higher um, eye rating than me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm, that's really weird. Normally, as the car gets lighter, you can brake later, but in that bend. Feels the opposite. Just have to hope one of these two makes a mistake. Master Jeff, thank you for the biddies. Maybe they start fighting for a place or something. Supernova, you sound like Yoda.
I'm so annoyed. I was having such a, a good brace of that guy as well. Oh boy. And he's going wide. You got a curfew in Greece. Okay, Paul, push now, we can catch this guy. Car's getting really light now. Sixth of April. <clears throat> Yeah, they said here it lasts at least three weeks, but I'm kind of thinking this, I think the reports are the virus is going to peak here in about two and a half, three weeks time. Given, given that, I can't expect the lockdown will carry on less than a couple of months. Because they're not going to remove the lockdown, so the numbers are on the way down by quite a bit. Otherwise, the numbers will just go back up again. So... They obviously don't want to cause like people to start crying about it, but you can expect to be in lockdown for a couple of months, I reckon. Take At least. Left. Oh, jeez, what the? I can only put that down to weight of the car or something. We need to slow down to get back the time gained. I really don't know what happened then. Back end just went out on me. The gap in front has increased to 14 seconds. This is what you get for not practicing. <laughs> Couple of laps around the track, I'll be fine. <laughs> Could be bright bias, but I'm not sh hmm, could be, maybe actually. I'll shove it forward a couple of clicks. And I've actually not binned it. I've actually, I've lost it, but I've not binned it. I've done somewhat better than I expected, to be honest. The only problem is that very last spin caused me to get lapped. <laughs> 16th place, one more lap to go. It's so sliding now. S and D. Not so bad, mate, not so bad. Because, like, 
because I was putting the bottom of a higher split, if I'd have been just a little bit lower, I'd have been top of the bottom split and been done way better, but hey ho. I'd have still spun out. All of my offs were all my own doing at the end of the day. E16. <laughs> I could have had a 13. Not one of my favourite tracks. And very hard work in the radical. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I did have a bit of damage. Maybe that's why it started to go a bit weird. Let's see what happened in the race. There was an off on lap one. There was a few on lap one actually went off. I got the jump on that guy. If somebody goes off here. They run a bit wide. No, that's the pink car. That was number three that came back later. The replacement parts. I've not heard anything yet. I know they're working on it. They've got some kind of plan B in action, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> but the problem is, with it all being a bit on lockdown, how would I even get the PC anyway, you know? Because it's a water cool machine, they can't easily ship it to me. Let's go through the incidents. Silk cot? Tobacco advertising? What's going on? Okay, in this world of boredom. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the glass is really half empty for you. You know what? Before this crisis, the, the thing I heard people say the most was there's not enough hours in the day. I don't have enough time for games. I don't have enough time for this, that, and the other. One day I'll get enough time to do blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly everybody's told to stay at home and they're like, oh my god, I'm so bored. How does that work? It needs a new part, Chris. There's a leak on one of the joints. Exactly, castrator. I've got way too much. <laughs> I spent a good chunk of yesterday rewiring my rig. It's all cable managed now. I'm quite happy with it. Grass is always greener, eh? Zoom, zoom. My grass is boring. The grass over there is much nicer. Walks over there. No, 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 actually, the grass is better back over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was me, wasn't it? I remember. What was, what was that guy that... Kind of got neck coded. No, that's where I got the damage from. Little scumbag. This guy. Gave me a kiss on the rear. Cheeky. Normally charged for that. This is what's a scratch. This, I think this is, isn't it? 
Yeah, there you go. There you go. So there's no actual contact, and there's a zero X, but the game kind of thinks otherwise. I can't. That's so weird. That's a bit. The thing is, if if the collision model was accurate, I don't think that'd have been a collision. Like my the wedge of me would have gone underneath him. But whatever the game thought otherwise. What's karma type then? Oh, oh, hello. You got a 4x for being punted in the rear. That happened to me in the last last race last week. I got a 4x for that. Ooh. Wow, that guy's just keeping on rolling. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Wow. Wow. Are you serious? There's no way that was contact. That's crazy. There's like a foot gap. There's literally a foot gap going on. I could park a bicycle in between those cars. <laughs> yeah, that guy took damage. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's a bit of damage. I'm pretty certain there are people with more than 200k corner. I could be wrong. But I'm sure somebody had down to a quarter of a million. Eamon's on 314,000. I think that answers your question. <laughs> well, I'm kind of waiting for Twitch to... Um, to give us some kind of API on that. And then we can actually use the, the peanuts for something useful. Because at the moment, all you can do is... cash them in for a few things. Like an emote or a highlighted message or something there's nothing I know you can create custom stuff but it's all manual custom stuff
Um, I've got the drink on the floor, on a tray, and to be honest, I really don't need it mounted on the rig. The stream is using a crazy amount of channel points for merch and stuff. Well, I'm not sure what you mean, Tuscan. There's only one way of earning channel points, and that's watching streams. So you can't buy them. And if they allow you to cash them in for merch, they've got to physically buy that merch. Uh, upright. Welcome back, Kribble. Welcome back, Master Jeff. Thank you for the buddies. Eight months upright. Thank you, mate. Let's see what that did. Damage wise. Let's see what we got. Happy anniversary, Nata. Minus 30 and minus 0.1. Lol. <laughs> that was not worth me turning up. Blimey, I'd have had to get at least 10 to even get positive. Happy anniversary. Yeah, there's no way I was ever getting points out of that. On the plus side, because I'm under 1600, it'll probably put me in a lower split next time. And then I can get the points back. Wyland, I didn't. I thought there was no API. Wyland, they always said they there was no API and they didn't have a plan for one. I don't know why. I don't, I don't keep track on these APIs. So what kind of thing can you do, Whiteland? Just like query and stuff. You can't buy the hot solvent. The reason you can't buy the hats is because I have nobody that can keep stock of them package them and send them out, deal with payments and returns. And it's not something I'm prepared to do personally. Had a custom reward and a bot that reads the chat event. Well, that's not an API, Wyland. That's reading, a, that's reading chat. That's not an API. Right, so... I am going to set up. <laughs> yes, please. I would like a cup of tea. Um, Connor, I can't believe it's yacht six in a week. Do you know what the plan is yet? Or is it still TBD apart from the convoy? I think we're going to have the convoy and then everything else. I'm probably just going to flex and see how it goes. It's an API using pub sub. So you don't have to read chat then. Yeah, CCL used to do it. Train Summer, thank you for 28 months. Uh, not sure if Twitch is being twitchy. Probably. Right, I'm just going to set up a practice session. Let's see. Nürburgring combined. Guess I'm strict to VLN. I think it's the VLN one. Hang on. I'll sock you around. Um, <clears throat> I don't have any influence with SCS Sledge. I have no influence with SCS. Right, I hope I'm setting up the right race here. I 
I don't know, but... <laughs> Right, let's see. Three hour session. Um, multi practice, configure weather. Right, just wait for it to set up. So, there's a, um, I think I think it's a four-hour endurance race coming up this Sunday, which uh, Lol Saku and I might are going to try. Yeah, why then do I have my own overlay, mate? The overlay you don't see. So yeah, it's been a little while since I've been on Nord, so I'm going to get some practice in. And then there's another race at 7 o'clock, I think. Another radical race. Fancy losing some more I rating. There we go. If you want to join this session, you can join with the GT3 car. Password is nuts. I'm going to join with the Merc. I love that using the Opera GX browser. Why? I use more than one browser. I have, <clears throat> in my repertoire, I have Chrome, I have Opera, I have Epic, and I have, uh, what's it called? Brave. <laughs> Chrome is so last decade. Ooh. How dare you talk about Google in that way? <laughs> Google's so last century. Yeah, I think we should all go back to Internet Explorer. It was the best. So last decade, as late as 2019. Well, I like it. I don't use... I haven't used Firefox. I used to use Firefox up to the first version 4 or 5. And then it just became a bloated mess. And I walked away from it. Never went back. Netscape Navigator, the browser that started it all. I don't see the issue with Chrome either, to be honest. I use Chrome and Opera mostly. I use Epic if I want to like go on a website and I don't want any tracking. Like, at all. Yeah, you need, you need to have plenty of RAM with Chrome, but I've got 32 gigs, that's more than enough. Epic is a good browser, but it's based on the... It uses the Chrome engine inside. But Epic basically throws everything away when you leave the session, which is nice. What are my thoughts on Opera GX? I quite, I quite like Opera as a browser. There's some of the, the speed dial thing is a bit annoying. But Firefox memory leaks. I remember the days. Will I be doing the Nürburgring 24 now? Well, say you want to go to, like, say, a mod download website, Connor. Yeah, so you want to download some Eurotruck mods. You know what they're like. 
They contain all kinds of pop-up nasties, cookie trackers, you name it, they've got it. You fire up Epic, and everything you do when you close the browser is gone. Like, whoosh, vanished. I kind of like that. <laughs> Like Epic is a browser that puts privacy first. I don't use Edge. The only time I ever see Edge is when the operating system fires it up, which it does occasionally. Yeah, the modding download sites are very hideous. Been accused of breaking your NDAC, working on Blizzard, and still the case with Google has been resolved. That sucks. Yeah, Chrome, I literally just said that. I literally just said, no, hang on, Edge is Chrome. Wait, what? Why? How is Edge Chrome? Edge moved to Chrome recently. Did they really? <laughs> oh, they run Chromium inside. Wow. Hey. What? Okay. That's pretty weird. Wow, Alex is in it already. Yeah, if you want to jump in, Password's Nuts, we're um, getting some practice in. I'm going to need to drag Alex down one sec. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Not bad, not bad. Are you going to do better today? I hope so. Can't get much worse than yesterday. <laughs> When's the race? Is it on Sunday? Apparently it is. Like 1 p.m. GMT. Wait, 1 p.m. GMT? Bear in mind the clocks in the UK go oh, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually 2 p.m. my time. Because I'll be on British yeah. summertime on Sunday. Well, it is iRacing, so you never know. We are. Uh, we need to confirm if that's a GMT time. As in, like, a UTC, you know, Zulu time. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Nata. Also, you, you meant to make the truck 35 degrees. Dude, I set the, the temperature of ambience 18 Celsius. I don't know why the track's 35. I don't know how you keep managing it. I can only imagine it's when you put it on sunny, it does stupid things. I guess. Because you don't get the option to set the track, you only get an option to set the actual weather, right? Yeah. Happy anniversary, Nata. Detects it, it's clear. Brother Mug, thank you for 30. Uh, Dissonatora, thank you for 11, almost a year. And in tech, thank you for the bits. Train Summer, thank you for 28. That always throws it when you... Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. So, when I was in practice and I was on the combined, you go left straight af after the exit. On this, you don't. That's I weird. was in a official uh, VLN practice session and it at the version we're in right now. So I think you were practicing on the wrong one. Well, in the in the uh, iRacing test, there's um, combined and like, there's Nord, Nord combined. I don't think they have the whatever it's called, something Strek. Is that what Strek? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's slightly different layout. At least the Nordic life itself will be the same. Yeah. The track temperature's rising. It's now 36 Celsius. It's only 36 now. Oh yeah, he's getting warmer. Yeah. Zenam, do you actually think Doyle is aware that there's a lockdown?
so hang on, you did that 8 minute 2 with a quicker chicane. 8, 804, optimal was 802, but on the um, carousel thing, I damaged the front right steering a bit, so it was on braking, it was okay. turning to the right. Alright, okay. So yeah, I did like half of the entire lap with a broken car. I feel like that's what the race is gonna come down to. Half of it with a broken car. Why, you're gonna wreck it for us? I mean, possibly. I did it twice now in both of the uh, previous races we've done. Actually, the second one wasn't my fault. Because someone went back into me. I bet so this track feels quite slippy already. I wonder why. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it on like cloudy or something next time because. For so oh god. For some reason, um, I race. Like gonna be the one to crash it. Yeah, well, the problem is I've got like reach out as well, so not easy. Um. I was gonna say. Multiple times now, chat doesn't matter. They're all nasty anyways. Yeah. Preference or priorities. What's awesome is like chat will watch you take like 25 bends really well and then when you mess one up they're like oh fail, fail. Yep. I mean that can easily be taken care of by just banning anyone that says fail. <laughs> so if if you use one of my emotes you get banned. Yep. <laughs> Seems legit. Great streamer. By the way, if you just if you crash and you hold the reset button, you will be reset on the launch life itself. So you don't have to go back to the pits. Yeah, I made it properly. Well, I don't know actually. I think there's not certain like checkpoints where you can come back. Yeah. Is that when you just hold down the tow button or something else? Um, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Felico, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the night house. Oh my life, what? I'm getting to think I've got the wrong setup here, Rosamund. Which one do you have loaded? I'm gonna check. Ah, yes I do. The default one. Um, I have a Road America set up loaded. Ah, yeah. So yeah, that'll explain that. I was like, that yeah. is, there's something not right here. <laughs> Alright, let's try that. Yeah, because like, corners I was like, happily just taken before, it's suddenly really bouncy. What did that happen though? Did you use that Road America setup for practice earlier today as well? Nope. I don't I think but I did rename the file, so I'm thinking iRacing got confused and loaded the wrong one. Alright. That's worth trying actually. If you load a setup, quit iRacing and then rename the file and then load it back in, it seems to just load something rather than the one you wanted. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Again it's iRacing. Yeah. a referee. Has someone sprayed the track in oil? I think they've sprayed it with an invalid setup.
Alright, let's see how it bounces around here now. There we go. Actually holds the corner now. Okay, it feels a lot more planted now. Surprising. Love this track. It's a pretty unique track, that's for sure. Nope. Carried way too much speed into that. I should just take it easy on the first lap. What is the chat cooking while this lockdown's on? This is squirrel seems to be resorting to pasta almost all the time. You can join Ninja Cat. It's just a hosted session. You're welcome to join, but it's GT3 only. Just look for uh, nutty practice in iRacing, and the password's nuts. Yeah, you're welcome to join. What do you mean, Ben? Are on this track? That's definitely a third gear bend. I hate the stadium section. Well, back on the GP bit. Yeah. It's way too slow and the turns just keep going and go. They do seem to go on forever. I don't know, it's just this car that makes it feel like that. Well, yeah, and I have three cars quicker obviously and it doesn't help when there's no grip oh, it's a geek thumb how are you doing sir mess that up way too quick on the entry Thank you, Phil.
I'd say it's the back third before the long straight is where I need to like hone my, my uh, practice. That's where there's a couple of bends. I'm like, uh, uh, does this go sharp left or is that the next one? Yeah, it sucks it's at the end of the track as well. So you've got the little or it takes the longest to get there again. Yeah. You do? I'm getting like 262Ks down the straight. Is that what you're getting? Car seems to flat out. No. Well, if it is a slightly uphill section. 269 tops. I honestly don't know what my top speed was. Yeah, that was a cup of tea. How fast is that in freedom units? <laughs> Multiplied by about five over eight. Nope. So I have to back off a lot earlier than that. When you just been like barreling down the the Nord and you come back to those twists after the um, GP straight, it just feels like you're walking. Yeah, it's really annoying. Miles per hour, Matty. So many bends in this truck. More than a hundred, I believe. Might even be more than two hundred, I don't recall. I remember it being a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of bends to try and master. If you're like two seconds off the pace on the normal lap, uh, this is gonna be like eight to ten seconds, if not more. Yeah, but equally, that'd be the chances of being lapped are pretty small. Yeah. That's a set of bends I really need to try and master properly. It's a tricky set of bends, Zach, because you have to reduce in like two or three places. The V8 supercar, can you imagine? I always forget to go right on that bend.
Formula Truck Racing. I don't think the track's wide enough for truck racing, to be honest. Remember Terry in our last session? Yeah, and Craig as well, I think. Oh, it's Quirky. No, Quirk's name is Tyson. Not Craig. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a bit squirrely then. <laughs> 